Hi everyone, welcome to our lesson on amplifier example questions. An amplifier is basically a device that takes in one voltage and spits out another. The behavior of a certain amplifier, and we're going to look at two amplifiers here, amplifier A and amplifier B. The behavior of these amplifiers can be shown using a graph of V in versus V out. And all this means is that if you feed a certain voltage into the amplifier, say two volts here, you'll get out whatever this value is. So you go up from two and then across to 10 there. So if you have two volts going into this amplifier, you'll have 10 volts coming out. If you feed in one volt, you'll have five volts coming out. If you feed in three volts, you'll have 15 volts coming out. And if you feed in four volts, you'll also have 15 volts coming out. And the fact that this amplifier doesn't really respond uh, appropriately to a voltage over three volts causes clipping in the signals, which we'll see. And that basically means the shape of the voltage, uh, the V out graph won't really change until you get to this point here. And then the amplifier just isn't capable of understanding that there's more than three volts coming in because it'll keep spitting out 15 volts. This is a non-inverting amplifier. The amplifier below amplifier B is a different amplifier and it is an inverting amplifier. And that just means the gradient of that red line is negative. So the higher the voltage I put into it, going that way, the more negative voltage I get out of it. Let's look at a few example questions involving V in signals, which we will then try to use the wrong way, which will then try to uh, sketch the V out signals of. So first of all, looking at amplifier A, we'll sketch a few V in signals. The first one has a maximum voltage of three and a minimum voltage of negative three. Let's try to sketch the V out signal of this amplifier. And this is amplifier A for now. First of all, if you put in zero volts over here, you'll also get out zero volts. If you put in three volts, you'll get out 15 volts. If you put in zero volts, you'll get zero volts again. If you put in negative three volts, you'll get out negative 15 volts. And if you put in zero volts, zero volts again. So the shape is similar, but the scale is different. We're only putting in a magnitude three volts here, but we're getting out a magnitude 15 volts down here. Let's look at a signal uh, which will experience clipping. So now instead of a max voltage being three, the max voltage is four. So the voltage goes up to four, down to zero, down to negative four, then up to zero. Negative three there, and then in line with that peak, negative four. I'll just move that negative three value up a little. There we go. Let's see what the V out signal will look like. At zero volts putting in, you get out zero volts again. When you put in three volts here, you get out 15 volts. Three, up, across, 15. So we've already reached 15 volts. By the time we get to this point here. So I put a cross in there. And then watch, if I put in four volts to amplifier A, four volts go up, I'm still only getting out 15 volts there. So I draw another point just across. And this creates a bit of a flat top there. This section of the line is still curved appropriately, similar to that curve there. But you get a flat line there. That's known as clipping. And it really, it's a loss of 
information in the signal. Let's see what happens to the graph from here on out. So at this point here again, 3 volts in, and I get 15 volts out according to this section. So it's still flat up until that point. And then it starts to drop. So this could be, say, 2 volts at this point here, which mean it would mean at that point there, I'm spitting out only 10 volts. So we drop down to 10 volts, where was it, somewhere there, and it curves appropriately down. And then it's the same thing, but in the negative down here, flat top, and then curving back up. F negative 15, negative 5, negative 10, 5, 10. So these flat, uh, this flat top and this flat bottom here are indicative that the amplifier we're using for this signal is not really appropriate. Two things made these questions easy. First of all, it's a non-inverting amplifier, which means positive voltages here correspond to positive voltages here. Secondly, the quiescent point, which is the point halfway along that line there, was at zero. So the shape of this signal and the shape of this signal is centered around the same line. B, however, is inverting, and its quiescent point is at the coordinate 0, 5. Let's sketch the V out if we'd put in those signals we've been working with into amplifier B instead. So the first signal had a max voltage of 3, a min of negative 3. Sketch it again there. And this point was a little low. I'll move that down. Let's see what we'd get out with this signal. First of all, if we put in V in 0 volts into amplifier B, let's look at the V in axes, we'd get out 5 volts. So the graph starts at 5. We'll say 5, 10, 15, 0, negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. So we're already starting here. Then as we move up to putting in 3 volts, looking at amplifier B, we've already passed this bar here, this arm. So we have to be very careful. This point here is the point we want to look at. So when does this input signal reach that 2 volt level? It reaches about here. So we go down. That is the point when I'm going to get that negative 5 volt output. So we have that type of curve. And then all the time the input voltage is above 2 volts there. We're in this region of the V in V out graph. And we have one of those flat tops. And then this part here, it goes back down to 0 volts in, which is 5 volts out. So we have to curve back up to that position there. Now, putting in negative 3 volts nets us negative 15, oh, sorry, positive 15 volts out. But again, that is past the elbow there. So let's look at when we put in negative 2 volts. That's when we get 15 volts uh, for the first time. So we build up, up, up. Negative 2 volts perhaps comes at that point there. And then once we start putting in now, you know, negative 2.1, negative 2.2, the amplifier's output doesn't change. It's still sitting at 15 volts. So at that level up there, we have another flat top. And then we curve back down to 5 volts as we approach that point there because, say, this 10 volt output there, that would occur when we put in negative 1 volts over there. So it can get quite tricky, and it's easiest to do it point by point. Uh, there's no point really doing the max 4 volt signal because we've already seen clipping in action, so I think we'll leave it there. The tip for sketching 
these graphs effectively is to first of all plot all the significant points on the graph uh, you know the V out that this corresponds to the V out that that corresponds to this this and this and then work back to the finer points and the more points you uh, points you plot the better idea you'll have of the shape of the VR graph because a line is technically an infinite number of points strung together.